guys welcome to my channel today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how I contour my nose now this is it contoured and it's kind of the routine that I do snatch it and keep it sharp and sorry do you want to say hi since you're this happening people <laughs> oh, I love him he's so stupid My name is Chai Nute. I make beauty videos and if you're new to my page, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also hit the like button and also hit the little bell thing, the bell notification thing right there. And that gets you, you get notified basically when I upload videos. The sun is like amongst clouds so the lighting is going to be in and out. I'm going to glow for like five seconds and then I'm just going to look not glowy. So contouring your nose is an art. It's an art. <laughs> Many different techniques that you use to contour your nose. But today I'm going to show you how I contour my nose. You can use this technique if you'd like to do a more defined contour. Or if you'd like a more softer contour, you can also use this technique. The first thing you're going to need is a blending brush. Now this is my favorite blending brush to contour because it's small, but it's big. Like it's a the perfect size and it's a little bit flat and dome shaped um, but more on the flatter the blending brush um, and it's not as long so the hairs don't frolic everywhere they're more concentrated so I like this type of blending brush this blending brush is the Sephora blending brush and the number 27 I love this one and the way it just shadows my nose is just gets right in there next this is a really crucial part all right um, I see a lot of people using an, a red or a warm undertone concealer or contour eyeshadow. You look horrible when you do that, alright? You need to, especially when you're contouring your nose and you're at the bridge of your nose and this whole entire section, you never want to go in with a warm contour. You never want to use the same contour you use to contour the, the outsides of your face. Because when you bring the warmth into the center of your nose, your nose tends to look like... a eggplant emoji. I take something that has a gray undertone so it adds shadow rather than warmth. Now I like to use an eyeshadow. You can essentially use any eyeshadow. I don't like using a cream base for my nose because my nose area gets a little oily and with the cream contour it just gets a little shiny throughout the day. But I like to use a gray undertone eyeshadow um, and this one is in the shade corduroy now what makes a big difference is how the eyeshadow is you don't want to take a gray undertone eyeshadow that is too pigmented all right that's another thing you want to make sure you you avoid doing because when it's too pigmented your nose will look gray all right you want to take an eyeshadow that is kind of like that that you really need to build in order to show product now the good thing about this one, and I don't know if it's, I think it's this only this particular color because there are other MAC eyeshadows that have a lot more pigment, like Brown Script, them, they just pick up a lot more product. But for some reason, the corduroy formula is a lot harder for you to pick up product on your brush, which works in your favor because it adds a, a buildable shade on your nose. Does that make sense? I'm not really good at explaining things. But yeah, so I like corduroy. It is quite dark. It may be dark for people medium to light complexion. It will be dark, but you can find a lighter alternative. But essentially, you want something that has more gray undertone, not something that's more warm. Let me show you the difference. Although this is a cream, I just want to show you guys the difference between the undertones, right? This is what I use to contour the outside of my face. It's warm. It adds more like of a tan. It just makes your skin look really healthy. This is what I use to contour my nose. It's more gray, it's more dull, and it gives you a more natural shadow. When you add this to the center of your face, it just looks off. It doesn't look right. It doesn't look like a natural shadow. It looks like you've contoured. But you see the difference between the undertone? So you want to go with something of more of a gray undertone. And I've been doing this for years, and I see these Instagram tutorials where they contour their entire face with the same contour color, and they'll go in and they'll go... They go on with the lines and then they go on with the nose contour with the same and you just look like your nose looks orange. It doesn't look right. But anyways, I just want to stress that a lot because I find that people are starting to understand that you can't be doing that. 
okay? And I'm no expert, this is just based on my own opinion. If you like the red or warm contour on your nose, go for it. If that's what you're going for, you know, go for it. Um, yeah, so I'm going to take my brush and I like to just pack it on the tip area, alright? And I start off with my nose shape. So the kind of nose I have is, it's a medium sized nose. Um, if I go to the side, there's not much of a bridge. It's, it's just straight and then it's a little round on the edges. But what I like to do is have the contour run down the sides and then run around the tip of my nose to give me more of like a button nose look. Cause I like, I think these look, those look cute when you have like a cute button nose. I particularly like it. There's nothing wrong with my nose, but I think it also brings the look together. Also, what I like to do is my eyes are quite far apart. I like to have the illusion of closer, closer together eyes. <laughs> and I'll show you how I do that. So I first start off with the tip. Now to lift my nose, I like to shadow right here, right there. Okay, I like, to, it automatically lifts my nose, all right? And it will look a little harsh. I will blend it out. The next thing I like to do is bring the tip of my nose together. I take my brush and it's more flat on one side and, and more narrow on the other. I like to pinch it so it's flat completely. Then I go in and I draw two lines where the bridge of my nostril is. So I draw a line down this way and then I draw a line down this way. Now I'm not going too far up. It's, I literally draw a line that's like one centimeter on each side matching the bridge of my nose. This brings the tip of my nose smaller. So I pinch the brush and I don't know if you could see it but it's brought in my nose, the tip of my nose, a little closer together. So I've lifted my nose and I brought the tip closer together. Now what I like to do is make the tip of my nose more of like a button nose. So I take the same brush, I pinch it and I run it directly where I want the nose to kind of button up. <laughs> I don't know, does that make sense on me? I don't know. I'm gonna pinch the brush. I have a mirror right here so I can see. But I just draw a straight line right on the tip, right above the tip of my nose, like that. So I have two lines over there and one going in. And that automatically gives me the illusion of a smaller tip. It's like an instant nose drop, really. Perfect. So we're gonna leave that. Now, to make this the this the neck of your nose more narrow, you want to shade the two sides going in to the two side lines that we've created. I take the same eyeshadow, apply it just on the tip, very lightly. What's important is how you position your brush. Your brush to focus the product more directly onto the spot it's blending and not want, if you don't want to diffuse, you hold your brush directly over, over the area like this. But if you want it to be more diffused out, you hold it onto the side and blend. First I want to start off right under the beginning of my brow. This gives you a more natural shade. Drag it down the side of my nose and then connecting it down I like to go a little more in so when you do go in what you do is you kind of bring your eyes a little closer together if your eyes are really close together you want to avoid this you need to bring it into the bottom of your brows you need to it just looks a lot more natural okay and that way you can go in and just blend it all out so as you can see, one side is already done, it looks more structured, more sh tapered in, and just more smaller. The other side is just blank, there's nothing there other than this awkward line. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and do the same to the other side. Going off under my brows, dragging it in, and straight down. If at any time you feel like the lines are too harsh, you can go in with a big fluffy brush and just kind of blend it all in. Now, if, I'm, if it's a more dramatic look, what I like to do is set the sides of my face. I take some translucent powder and just carve out the area where I didn't contour. And I tend to have an oily T-zone area. Like, try to get the 
it as symmetrical on both sides as possible. Let that set for about 20 seconds and then you can dust off the extra. And it brightens up the sides, connecting it to your under eye area, which just gives the illusion of a more slimmer nose. You think that made sense? Yeah, it makes sense. Lies. Lies. The thing I like to do when I see a lot of people with a heavy hand when they do this is just highlight the tip of my nose. Instagram, just take a little too far. <laughs> chill, chill with the highlighter. Um, I'm going to take some of this highlight, and this is the Too Faced highlight in Blinded by the Light. And I'm going to add some to my cupid bow and to the tip of my nose. And what this does is accentuate the tip. Now, if you like, you can run the same highlighter down the middle of your nose, but I don't like doing that. I just like using it right on the tip. Oh, too much, too much. What you do is just spritz your face with some either dewy finish or matte finish depending on your skin type. Um, yeah, that's it. That's how I contour my nose. I hope that was easy and I hope you understood that. If you're interested in this makeup look for Eid, it will be coming up so stay tuned for that. Joining me and I hope you understood this and I hope it was helpful. Mwah. Love you guys. Bye.